I bring you greetings in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, precious one. Um, coming your way once again with just a word. This is Pastor Dennis. I trust God has been so good to you and your family. Even as we are getting into a new week, it is my prayer that you would be kept, you will be kept safe and um, from harm. And I pray that let this word have a place in your heart. We have all heard so many times that we say patience, it's a virtue, it's a quality that every man needs. But I also personally believe that gratitude, being grateful for what you receive, being grateful for the people in your life, being grateful for everything, it's also a virtue. It is quite an attitude when people do not show gratitude for what you do, it can be very discouraging, especially when you have got to do everything possible just to be there for someone. You had to go through sacrifices that they didn't see or they didn't have to see. Maybe that was all you had. That was the last money that you had on you. Yet you gave it up and you have not been appreciated for it. I know it's not the best of a thing to do. Let us get into the reading of God's word. Matthew chapter 7 verse 6, he says that do not give to dogs what is sacred and do not throw your pearls to pigs. If you do, they may trample them underfoot and turn and tear you into pieces. Hmm, that's quite a statement. Do not give dogs what is sacred. All that Jesus is seeking to let us understand is that in life, there are many people that you would come in contact with. We have these in our families. We have them at our workplaces. We have them everywhere. Even in the church of God, we have them in our members. People that do not recognize the sacrifices of others. And the reason why they do not recognize the sacrifices of others, it's because of who they are. You should understand that in the culture wherein Jesus was speaking to these people, dogs were not pets. Dogs were symbols of vulgarity or they were symbols of immorality. They were only seen to scavenge. They were only seen to run about and um, to, to, to be scavenging. They did not have to live with people. And so it was an insult and derogatory for anyone to refer to another person as a dog. And we know that in the customs of the Jews, pigs were forbidden. And so for Jesus to make this statement which involved the dogs and the pigs, then it means that we have got to be careful. The only reason why you are so not satisfied or you are discouraged because of what you did for someone and in, turn you, in return you were thinking that at least they would appreciate you. They are not appreciating it because you chose the wrong audience. You would have a good gift in. You are talented, but if your, your audience are not supportive or if your audience are not appreciative of what they are getting of you, it would be some sort of a burden. And so, they would never appreciate it. See, pearls are precious gems and it takes a lot of work to be able to find these gems. And for you to see the worth of a precious gem and to cast it before a pig, you would only have nothing in return because pigs are all about who feeds them. They, they don't care. They only want to be satisfied. They have to roam from one place onto other. No wonder whilst they were with you, they praised you and now they can't see any good thing in you. They cannot and they would move on to another person. And so Jesus is telling us that when you, 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 you do not see the word in your resource, if you don't see any value in what you have, the time that you spend with people, 
It's a precious time. You could have been doing something else with your life. You could have been doing something else, but you chose to spend that time with someone. And unfortunately, they cannot appreciate it. What I want you to know is that, first of all, you should know what you are bringing on board. You should know who you are dealing with. There are certain people that you don't have to waste your time on any longer because they are who they are. They can never appreciate it. And they are waiting to turn against you and attack you. You have spent everything you had. You had all the time with them, invested so much in them, and now they can't see any good in you. They are who they are. I want to encourage you, do not be put down any longer by their attitude. If you are a person who has not appreciated the efforts of others, I want you to, to reflect and on all the things that people have done for you because you never know the work that was involved on how much or the length that they had to go in order to get you what you have or in order to be there for you. Jesus wants us to, first of all, identify our value. Know what you have and know the worth of what you have. Not until people see the worth of a thing, they will treat it as anything. They will treat it as trivial. But you know what you are carrying and you know what you are bringing on board. So you should be selective of your audience. You should see and know the kind of people that you are casting your precious pearls before. If they are pigs, they would never appreciate and you should wait for them to attack you. May the Lord richly bless you as you have made time to listen to me. Keep on developing yourself and choose your audience very wisely. God richly bless you. Bye-bye.